Hello friends, my name is Prabal and today I'm going to tell you about my recent experiment at HackerEarth.com It's actually an uh, online web, uh, online development for, uh, platform So we have uh, programming challenges here and this was the challenge I participated in last weekend this queen type backend hiring challenge was actually associated with a job offer the challenge is now over uh, this is how it, where, uh, this is when it started when it ended so in this duration you can take this test any time at any time for two hours uh, the format of the test was simple there were some 10, 10 mcqs and two programming questions and you have to solve them as fast as you can simple So, did something. I opened this link, which is actually the same link. Slash discussions. Uh, so here we have the discussions about these problems. So here we also have the names of the, the problems, which were in this test. When the challenge is live, the only way to see the problem or to know the problem is to actually participate in the challenge. Uh, then you will see the problems uh, you need to solve it using some using any of the programming languages available uh, so this was the view when the challenge was live but i haven't yet uh, registered for the challenge you can see what the other people who are solving this problem these problems are uh, saying about this problem so we have all the reviews this is public and uh, here see i am not logged in so this is a very public link so the problem the one of the problems was product devices so when i saw the name of this problem the thing which get deeper into my mind is devices so to get into the devices for a number how can we like 12 is the number devices for this number are 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 so it might be something related to the devices ok so this thing came to my mind ok so to find out the devices we have a spe special uh, we called prime factorization so um, many of you might be aware, uh, aware of this method like for the number 48 these are the prime divisors 2 2 2 3 2 so this is the way we do it so it's actually 48 is equal to 2 power 4 and 3 power 1 so similarly here about the 12 12 is 2 power 2 and 3 power 1 so this may be from this prime factorization we can get to uh, know a lot of the devices about this number like all the devices can come from only only these numbers one is the universal divisor for all the numbers two because we have a two three because we have a three four we have because we have two fours so it's two into two is equal to four three because we have two into three and twelve again is all of these so getting to know the devices of any number you need to know its prime factorization and for that you need to get a list of prime numbers so that you get primes up to say because I am very well versed uh, about uh, the challenges at uh, Hacker Earth I know they give a large uh, range of the numbers like 10 raised to power 9, 10 raised to power 8, something like this. So, if you want to get the, know the prime factors of a number as high as 10 raised to power 9, one more, 10 raised to power 9, how will you do it? Okay, you will start by dividing it by 2, by something, and all. So the way we used to do it, 
is dividing this number but how much far that is only up to the square root of that number so what's the square root of this number it's something around 31000 so if we want to get the prime factors of a number as high as 10 raised to power 9 we need to find its factors only up to 31000 or something it was 31,622. So we have that much up to the list. It's 32. It's 98,000. So by here, we can actually suppose by saying numbers from here, if we divide all these numbers one by one with the number given, we can actually get to know the prime factors of that number but you need not do all this manually our program will do it so let's copy these numbers into an excel sheet oops uh, we definitely don't want this in this format uh, so let's copy it first on a notepad all the spaces and now all the spaces with a tab this into an array get the count of these numbers so actually we need it at 231622 only so up to this point we we'll need it so how much these numbers are here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so there are 10 uh, numbers in our line and there are 341 uh, total rows so we actually have three, four, one, zero numbers in the array, which is pretty much a decent number. Uh, so actually, we if we put all these numbers into an array and then get to find the prime factorization, uh, then pass uh, these numbers and get to know the prime factors, we can do it easily. So here we have the list of all the prime factors, all the primes available up to a large number. Why I chose 10 raised to power 9, I have already tell you. So yes, we're here. So by devices, we now write a program. Any one more thing I noticed here, there was something given here. 
the candidates who are hands on with java ruby python closure will be given first preference so i am okay with java so let's do it in java let's say we'll need these numbers up to uh, some maximum up, uh, let's say if we are doing this for up to 1000 we need only up to this so let's start with this get numbers up to 10 raised to power 6 we can actually go with this much numbers this number it's actually 170 minus 2 so it's 168 so 168 in the count we write it somewhere and we remove these two numbers because they are not needed if our question is only up to 10 to super 6 and why it is 10 to super and only guessing it it might be more we'll adjust this list accordingly okay so let's begin by writing our code okay let's use the environment provided by the hacker app itself to open practice uh, open any of these because we, we need the environment for it did this only to get the sample format for the java program so i need to be codeless so here we have a format ready so we will remove this this So we have this template ready but uh, we know just only about something about divisors we don't yet know what the problem might be so for the divisors first of all we know that uh, the divisors are there there's gonna be primes here so we copied it here i'm using it because to get you more idea on what uh, hacker uh, their environment looks like good okay so we have the basics set up here all the primes are in line now let's go to the problem name itself once again so it's saying divisors and product divisors by far we get something about this so to get uh, divisors for a number this 168 We need to get uh, divisors for a number. We actually loop through this array, and you can then do anything pretty much on those numbers. So for that, we have, let's say int a be that number. We have a, we have a for loop 
here for it j equal to 0 j less than 168 j plus plus also we need to have one more condition here a should be greater than 1 because we will be dividing this number with its factors so it might it has to come down and it will eventually reach 1 and uh, as I already explained that an a fact a prime factor may be more than once there so we need to have arrangement for that we have a while loop while a primes and it is an array plus j zero so this is pretty much set up like we can do anything here any code we need to write further on seeing the prob actual problem itself but on the basics we are set this is how the loop will look like now when we are set we can actually start having a look at what the people are saying like this guy this guy has helped me a lot getting to know what the problem is given me this in your code output expected output so for this input this is the output so what the problem might be this two depicting the number how much numbers are there and then the answer is 4 what might be 4 associated with it because in the problem we have product divisors so I guessed that it might be that you need to take product of these numbers and tell me the divisors of that number but that's only a possibility there might be others so we have 2 into 3 which is 6 and 6 has factors 1 2 3 and 6 it becomes 4 so this is what I guess from this let's see others so this guy is saying something about this number this large number okay so it might be modulo. It's saying about modulo. Okay, and this guy responding is saying about that you need to take modulo. So I again assume that whatever the output is, you need to take a modulo of with this number. So this guy again uh, got my uh, guess more strengthened by saying that it is actually a product of these numbers and larger than the answer so the product is 6 the answer is 4 so I am getting more and more uh, strengthening on my idea uh, on my guess the problem might be mm, so all the comments are not uh, doing any help so here's what I formulate that there is a list of numbers preceded by number of numbers like how many numbers are there we need to multiply these numbers and then tell me the divisors of the product number of divisors for that what might mean what might we need to do mm -hmm. so this guy has given us a test case 2 2 3 and output is 4 I asked you there is a special case here ok before that how can we calculate that uh, without making the product because if we make the product and then we find its divisor it could be more time consuming and more uh, the task which we don't want to do so instead what if we find the individual uh, divisors for these numbers so for 2 we have divisors 2 is equal to 
वन एंड टू और थ्री वी हैव वन एंड थ्री सो एक्चुअली टू फाइंड आउट द आउटपुट इज द रिजल्ट इज फोर वी कैन से दैट इट्स आउटपुट इज टू इट्स आउट सर इज टू टू मल्टीप्लाई टू बिकम्स फोर विच इज करेक्ट इन दिस केस बट फॉर द केस इज लाइक दिस सी टू 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 बट विल बी द आउटपुट फॉर दिस केस माइट बी थिंकिंग दैट इट विल बी टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू इट बिकम्स फोर नो द आउटपुट इज थ्री यू कैन क्लियरली सी इट द प्रोडक्ट इज फोर and for the four we have one two and four only three devices so what's the special in this case if we have factors which are which are common like some power of two then we have we need to count the number of uh, fact, uh, primes in each of these numbers and in the end only we can multiply them together to get the final result so we were on our problem so we now we can move it inside because we know something about the problem now so see so uh, our reader it will read the input line it will first of all read the number of numbers will iterate through it and again now we need to input the numbers themselves all these numbers into an array so now we will input this into the array into this integer one by one to count the number of numbers so to count them we need another array say this that was prime int prime count right one six eight Because that array was also having the same size. So we'll go on. Take a number at a time and find. And uh, one more thing we need to we need to initialize the counters. this number so we need to increase it count its counter by 1 so it's not 
Oh, it's two. Also, we actually need to divide this number. So we are not doing the same thing again and again, and it's not uh, an infinite loop. this sets us up nicely there's one more catch like there might be a large number or even mm, number something like this mm, number like this 1019 so what to do with these numbers so from 1 to 10 raised to power 6 we can have these numbers but they might not be more than ones like if we have a number like this One zero one nine into one zero one nine the result is more than ten raised to power six. So that is the only benefit of taking the numbers only up to the square root of the actual range. So we need to put additional code here. Like the uh, uh, number of numbers, we'll take one more array. We'll say it auxiliary primes. which are auxiliary so let's say new and now what about the size of course we don't have a clear size it actually depends upon how much this is what are the number of numbers maximum limit up to this let's say that is 100 we don't know that but we can modify that later and this is for the num uh, for the primes themselves and one more array for the counts okay small prime numbers have been ripped off from the actual number now we see if uh, the number contains one of the bigger primes then it will still be greater than one as well as our condition here you see it will end out of this loop either when the prime uh, they end or when the number ends so if the number hasn't ended we need some additional processing we also need to put one more integer to track the number of primes which are found yet. Vox count. Whenever we will find that number, uh, we will increment it and if we didn't, we will find the other way if it is equal to equal to the ox. if the number is not in the list we need to 
move it outwards. If the number is not there, obviously in that case j will be equal to x count. So what we will do in that case, we will store that number and plus plus it so so far so good no not a plus plus here we initially it's hit by one because its occurrence is one Yes, plus we need to increment this number. So as to suggest that this is now the maximum numbers of auxiliary primes here. Now the processing is done. Let's talk about the result. We'll take a number. Why I'm taking it as long? because we need to multiply huge numbers we may need to multiply huge numbers here so its value may go out of bounds if we take it as integer plus because of this guy it said that we need to take the module of this number now this comment we will make provisions here for that so initializing it to z1 we will take the product so Multiply is equal to prime count. Plus one. Why? Because one is there for all, and that is how we can make all the numbers effectively. Basic mathematics. Should we multiply it by this? Let's put this here. This. Hmm. Copy this once again. as well for that yes yes so we can print it here our result When once you are logged in, uh, we also have an option here for providing custom input. It's not here because we are not logged in. Anyways, so this is our program taking its shape. or already taken its shape. Let's review it once again. Here we have a list of primes, the small primes, 168 in number. We we'll take a number that is how much numbers are there and then we the actual numbers we have prime count here to calculate the number of small primes occurring this is for our auxiliary primes auxiliary primes count we are initializing the prime count Okay, 
okay all of this is looking good yes we have a coach right we test this let's use a Java online compiling tool Java online compiler so we were actually looking for the online tool code let's compile it oops it has three errors because we haven't imported the successfully and let's execute it given the input two two space three output is four so I got this guy our code is correct let's execute it for some more test cases for my test, the test case which I have to run in. Three. So we are good. Let's hope the problem is the same as we are expecting it to be. So 
okay some change about the sequential processing yes here we have our first clue but we cannot consider this right away because this is one day ago it was not the time when the challenge was open so about some taxi if a user takes taxi at 1 and destination time is 100 so taxi is 3 100 or 1 no 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 what they are saying about journey and time so we get our first clue here si and gi so what is this si and gi from the experience i can tell this is uh, it's denoting some array, some array, and moreover two arrays. So arrays is our first clue. Looks good. 
One array, but here in the problem, it might need to show more than one. Thank you. 
cases at the simple but the other might be tricky he is also the person is saying the same ok so what it might be we don't know what is the problem we can't get any more clue here sadly now we need to look at the problem themselves so we don't know about the problem now. Only we have incorporated a special mud sort here. Before moving forward, actually looking into the problem, we need to test our program. For that, let's say we take an array.
Should be in this case. The output should will not be one, two, three, four, five. No, because the users are the same and the needs are the same. But the order might, uh, the order had varied. The output will be one, two, three, five. The reason for that first it will be sorted based on this. This array will become this. Okay, we will compute the answers for this. Compute the answers for this in some format, say ABC. Output needs to be again in the so first you need to sort it based on this element first element and then based on the third element you need to solve uh, again sort it so starting there the second document the second question problem here Thank you. 
all but one second uh, uh, I have paused the code so as to explain you so here what I am getting is the first component SI the second component and the third component is I am giving it this value because first I will sort based on this then I need to sort based on this so as to keep the original order Looks look good. Looks good. Now we also need to take the array to represent the cars themselves for that. Do it. So first of all, let's sort the original array. There it is. Let's sort. cars we need to initialize this to one because it's given in the problem statement that all the components are one uh, all the components cannot be given one explaining it okay. this this value can change only from oh not this one saying about this okay. there cannot be anything less than one here so we take that the uh, initial starting point for all the cars is one and if we have in that any point on the time the value of the car is less than this value uh, the value of the car is less or equal to then that car is free because it's written here that actually immediately gets if the request is accepted okay Pause this. Now we need to put a double loop 
for the users as well as the cars. <coughs> I paused here just to explain that what I am doing is if this the car this array will contain the current getting free time of the car and this will contain the passenger starting time this SI if it is less than the cars index then passenger will get this car to model this we need to write let me start the timer once again I was here starting timer again we need here this plus this again this will become j plus 1 and break if M then one chance one here get minus one and we get this one now let's sort it again a is equal to much sort of a yes we need to have a loop once again here versus outing it taken more than the time which I would have taken if I have done the problem by myself not explaining each and every moment so you can run it definitely we can run it let's close this well it has solved its purpose in around 10 minutes we have solved both the problems so Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Goodbye.